Tunisia. Live. Be informed. Be involved. The Islamist party in Nahda has won about 40% of the seats in what will become Tunisia's new constituent assembly. The party was banned for over three decades, and some of Nahda's members were jailed and tortured for their political activities. Some Tunisians sympathize with what the movement went through during years of dictatorship. He did whatever he wanted. He tortured, he jailed, he discriminated. He took whatever he wanted, but could not take one thing. He could not take our faith, our faith in God. He left and we stayed. He was oppressed for so long. The leaders of this party were in jail, weren't able to practice their religion. Today, these people have the right to express themselves. In Tunisia's first ever democratic elections, and Nahda became the strongest party, winning support in many parts of the country overshadowing other more secular parties like the PDP. After decades of a one-party system, for the first time, Tunisia will have a coalition government. Uh, we're open to everyone. We do not exclude anyone. Uh, the uh, political parties that are now uh, going to be part of the uh, National uh, Constituent Assembly and those who are not part of it. And Nahda is not presenting any candidates for the presidency. But they are putting forward Nahda's Secretary General Hamad Yishbeli for the position of Prime Minister. He's a very well learned person. He's uh, an engineer, very well known engineer in the country, and he's uh, a highly uh, observed political figure in the country. Our Secretary General. Sheikh Rashid Ghanoushi the spiritual leader of Tunisia's Islamic party, in Nahda, promises a nation of freedom, fairness, development, and justice. But Tunisia will also become a nation of Islam, something that his opponents fear the most. Available on TunisiaLive.net